Was it a recent clip or do you wear one shirt only? Uh, it was from like nine minutes ago. Hello, girls. Hello. Hello, girls. What do you want? All right, what do we got? Sky Temple. Hi, team. Loader, Chemist, Weyan, Ren Talker, which was that pretty good gray main from just now, who got four votes and trapped her. And we've got Kazan, Twist, Destiny, and Sogi. It's Sky Team. He prefers tanks. So do I, but I'll go melee, melee assassin then, maybe. Garrosh is banned. These days, I'm just banning Genji. I liked your lighting settings a lot more in the clip you just showed. It's the same one. It's literally from nine minutes ago. I hear the call. My blades are yours. I'm so happy when people take Nazibo in general, but also on a map that can be decided pretty early, like Thank Sky you. Temple. I know far for. I just saw the Hot Hero trailers. So good. Tracer, BW, Ready and Chromie action. were best. Ah, you went on a binge watch to watch all the hero trailers. You know, they don't make them for every hero anymore, per se. They do a how to play, but not like uh, the butcher chopping up all the other heroes with the Nexus. Let's see, Tracer, we all saw Tracer trailer very many times at tournaments because they repeat them as filler. Cheers, love! Is that a frog in a bubble? Uh, we heard it quite often. Brightwing is uh, not played quite as frequently at HTC tournaments. Abandons no man. I like the part where she's like, come back! Chromie, they played it a lot at tourneys. I'm pretty sick of it by now. My favorite is uh, Leoric. He's like, uh, I am Leoric, and I will only work with those who will never betray me. And he's next to betrayers. It's so funny, lol. Really my type of humor, lol. Uh, I'm going to go for an, a ban on ETC, I think. Or maybe Sonia. Uh, uh, Anubarak. Yeah, I'll do Anubarak. I think Anubarak would be a little bit better for them here. Tyrael is really good as well. Die, Hellspawn. Tracer. Love the hair. Wow, you're big. Not funny. Thank you very much for the donation, uh, Raul. I appreciate it. Um, and you said you know what for? You mean you you want to see me play Chromie in? Uh, in uh, quick match. Needs me. <laughs> All right, you got it, man. Right after this game. Hey, Gerby, is Savannah's good in this patch, in your opinion? Yeah, uh, I would say she's even more polarizing than before. Shake it like a polarizing hero. Black arrow, double regen globes. If you're winning, you're winning more. It's pretty crazy. More polarizing, and she can do utterly nothing, just like before, but even less so when losing.
Guys, it's such a good time today. Three days in a row, I had gone to the supermarket and they didn't have raisin buns anymore. Maybe I show up too late or maybe there's some raisin bun gluttons. Today, infinite. I got three, by the way. Finished one already on my way up the stairs. When I was going up the stairs, I had my raisin bun like this. I said, come on, Logan. And he didn't get it. I was like, come on, Logan. And he just kept looking at the stairs like, what the hell's going on? What about Olibola? The cool thing about this is they taste kind of like Olibola. That's what I love about them. The battle's about to begin. I hope For you're ready. Mm, I'm gonna go to the solo lane. I thank you. Hi, Grubby. Yes. Is it better viable for solo the tanking? Is yes. Fine. I felt I was just seconds. got quickly deleted with etc. A solo before I even engage. And my teammates just wait for me to engage. Any advice? And thanks for the entertainment. Loggy is adorable as always. I totally understand where you're coming from. The reason that is happening is because you are showing too much in lane. You can't take damage if you're invisible. As a good warrior player, save your power slide for the most impactful of moments. Save it for when you're going to confirm a kill and power slide backwards, if at all possible. Surprise people, flank people. When I play on warrior, go take a... Go take a look at how I do it. I will stand in bushes often. What a nice turn by my team. A fine heal, friend. ETC definitely is one of the best warriors in the game. And one of the best solo tanks in the game. Uh, but he has m way more types of play than simply f forward power slide engaging. And you need to understand this to uh, to make the best use of him. Yes. Why does Thrall see so little play? Because a lot of people aren't good at him. He doesn't make a huge impact except for his heroic. And uh, he doesn't always fit the bill on exactly what the team needs. He's always good, but he's never OP. People like OP heroes. You have forced my hand. Some 
Select a talent. Power courses through me. A fine eel, friend. Let's move. That's great for us. These things are worth as much as uh, lane minion in terms of XP. Should be a dead Diablo. Maybe not. It's all good. They got a lot of XP because of Greymane. Oh wow, I see what I Great saw. Oh, there's still temple shots! What? You have forced my hand. I must flee. Hold the line, friend. I hear you. <laughs> the magic of the temple sleeps. Until I, I choose otherwise. We should enlist the aid. I had no idea there were still temple shots. Yes. For doom hammer. Ah, I'm scared to mess. For the horde. That dismount though. That bruiser chased me so far. Uh, spider build Nazebo is not good anymore. It's all about toad build now. I'm trying to get good at looking at your teammates to see how they're doing. Uh, even if you're very busy lane clearing. Sometimes, even though there's a lane that needs clearing... They could be an even higher value play of um, helping your teammates. So keep looking how they're doing. For top. I want to clear fast this time because I know I'm not at risk. The reason I went Earthquake is because Sundering is blocked a little bit by D-Shield and Cleanse. Whereas Earthquake, with such a long extended period of time has the better value in terms of uh, dealing with their support type. Uh, secondarily, uh, Earthquake gives you the most ancestral healing stacks. Your time has come. For the whole. Fantastic. Yes. My magic flows through the My temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals Diablo is now gone mid to clear. That means we get some uh, guaranteed uh, value right here. Look at that earthquake value. It's actually insane. Your destiny ends here. Your time has come. Yes. Jaina announcer with Thrall lol. I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> A fine Role player, by the way. Overstay already. You have stolen enough. Plus, it looks like some people are allergic to Alexstrasza's heal circle. I'm utterly out of oom. They get a free fort because we're out of oom. Frostwall's grace. Uh oh, you just lost a fort. Your time has come for the whole. I know they're gonna come for me. Must go here. We 
You brought down a fort. Good work. Double. For doom, Hammer. We should enlist the aid of these mercenaries. For honor and glory. Ha! Greetings, friend. Your time has come. Thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Initiate feed. Wow, with the tier 3 sub. Muchas gracias, amigo. For honor and glory. At last. There's a massive way. <laughs> I take it back. I said thralls never OP. We should enlist the aid of these. I had everything ready. Block charges, triple root, earthquake, frostwall's grace. My thanks, healer. I hear you. I could not have been more ready if you said you have some raisin buns freshly cooked in the oven and you wake me up in the middle of the night. Well done. Thrall is a pseudo tank. Oh, you've unlocked a talent. Good work, team. I'll go Tempest Fury this time. Rather than Giant Killer. This guy cannot die. <laughs> That's actually the best part about Thrall. I said so two days ago. You can check it in the stream if you've got 16 hours uh, to, to peruse the VOD. I said the best thing about Thrall is that he almost always seems to die and then has many buttons of survivability. Wonderful. You took a key. Face the might of the whole. A clever strategy. I subscribed just for that gank. <laughs> yes! Score! Man Fredo, thank you very much, man. Appreciate uh, you choosing my channel to Twitch Prime, so I do appreciate that. So we have a top uh, bruiser camp push. That means that any time we buy down here, it's gonna be a bit of a bonus. The more time we buy, the better. Greetings, friend. The more time we buy, the better. I must go heal. Face the might of the horde. For honor. Now we can get double siege. So the thing is, we should probably delay cap this one, but it's probably too advanced. Because we had time to grab both at the same time, and you can line them up, and then you have four siege at the. Greetings, friend. It's better to support this one than that one because uh, we have a big minion wave now. Whereas if we take left side siege camp, it will arrive in a staggered uh, timer. And uh, then it won't do anything anymore. For the whole. Actually, what are we doing here? To keep his gone. Warriors attack their fort. The light of the sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall bask in my glory. For honor and glory. Everything about my call was bloody perfect, except the fact that they were careless enough to lose a keep previously. So. There was nothing to do there, except going core with marginal advantage. At least we have the wave pushed and we've got siege camp going there. 
The three man root boys. Kill the Gargantuan. Double kill. Triple kill. My me. Triple hit. Great play by Muradin, that Still flank. Perfect. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Much better. Mayhem. We have triple Katkas. Oh no, no, no! Bad news. Your killing <laughs> is over too. Select a talent. The only building that could ever tame me was a backstabbing keep. The only thing that could ever kill me <laughs> was a freaking keep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will go Earthen Shields. That was such a slow death too. Really interesting. <laughs> the enemy just took down a fort. Perfect. Bring down those keeps. Hello, Diablo. Okay, that got a little too violent. For the whole excellent work. And so the light fades from my temples, but it will return again. Good work, team. Face the might of the horn. Fall before the horn. A clever strategy. Valiantly fought. Way to go. You have four. Hero slain. Struggle no more. Much better. The aspect of life rises against you. What's amazing. Enough. Luctor. Greetings, friend. No, for Drenar. MVP. Ooh. Nice, ah. Huh? Uh, could you play Kel'Thuzad, please? I have a request from uh, my man Rawl. This is the request. He asked for a uh, Chromie in a quick match. He's been on a massive Chromie practice spree. He would like to see a little bit more. I know far for. I just saw the oh. hot hero trailers. So good. Tracer, BW and Chromie were best. Yeah, yeah, sure. Rawl just said, wait a bit. No problem, we'll play a few more Hero League games. Just pop in here and give me a message through uh, chat or uh, any other channels. So we're gonna do some more Hero Leagues.
I see you pick Ancestral Wrath all the time and I was wondering, when is it the best time in fights to use it? I find that in my games, it generally doesn't get as much value as the other two talents. So when you have Earthquake and two charges of Chain Lightning, it comes up very often. And you should make sure that from laning itself, from laning itself, you get the stacks up every time before fight. Every time before fight, you need to have it. And it makes sense because Thrall is a pretty decent solo laner. You can see sometimes you can jubate people when they think they can gank you. And uh, so what it does is you damage an enemy hero for 15% of their health. And then you heal for 22.5% of their health. So if you're Thrall with 3k HP and the enemy tank has 4k HP, some quick maths, you do 600 damage and you steal 900 life. <laughs> quick maths. So that 900 life is extremely useful to your 3000 health pool. That's like um, about 30% of your pool. So you deal 15% of theirs, but you gain 30%. That's uh, that's really useful in any fight. And because it is over time, you can use it at the start of you starting to take damage. So that even if you get stunned, you still get a few more pulses of healing. Together with Frostwolf Resilience and your Frostwolf Grace level 13 talent. As well as your block charges at level 4 from the Feral Resilience talent. All together, you become... A tank like survivability for that moment outside of block charges and outside of earthquake and earthen shields and your healing from ancestral no but during that time yes Salvaged because that was awkward. I'll take more with that kid.